They say if you have a real connection with someone, hmm. even doing the most mundane tasks together will still be fun. Oh, that's sweet. It's so yeah. true, bro. Yeah. You know, like you folding, folding laundry, dishes. Mm -hmm. Yes, folding the dishes. Peeling potatoes. Sorry, I, I do dishes popping <laughs> each other's back pimples. Oh. Yes, oh my gosh, gross. where are you, my queen? Stop it. My that is so queen. gross. It's me. fun gross. if you have a real connection with each other. <laughs> well, one of our listeners definitely put that theory to the oh. test during his oh. romantic evening out. Oh, uh -oh. please don't tell oh. me it's the back it wasn't Jack. that, but now he says maybe their date activity was too mundane. Uh, Even Brooke called it boring, and uh -oh. she does book clubs. <laughs> and like Scrabble. Yeah. So, that was wow. awesome. Back oh, off, man. Alexis. You're going to hear what they did in your brand new second date update yes. right after this. There's two types of people that you're going to meet in the dating world. The neurotic, uptight, over-planners like Brooke, who have to Whoa. schedule out every <laughs> minute of the entire evening months in advance or they joking? won't even have a good time. Is that true, Brooke? No, I can't show up on time for anything, let alone, <laughs> like, over-plan it. Do you not know me? Brooke was literally yelling at me to put it in your schedule, Jeff. <laughs> Put it in your schedule or you're going to forget. You do that's forget. because we have to travel yeah, for work and you're not going to show up. Okay, neurotic. <laughs> and then there's the chill, suave, go with the flow types. Uh, like me. I like knew. Okay. okay. Who oh, believe that they why. can make a good time happen with anyone <laughs> in any bathroom at any yeah. truck stop at oh, any time. Dang. That's my promise. Those are the only two types? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Has to be a truck stop, though. Uh, and one of our <laughs> listeners says he's also the go with the flow type, but he's worried it may have been his undoing on his date. His uh -oh. name is Russell, but we're going to call him Russ, and he's not going to fight us because he's chill with it. What's up, Russ? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much. Yes, I am a go with the flow dude. That's for sure. Okay. That's my guy. Russ okay. is just like water. <laughs> What? what? Oh, water goes with the flow. Goes with the oh, I got flow. it. I got it. Okay. Uh, Bends to every really need. Care. Yeah. Brooke fits in any it. container. Way to turn this into like a physics lesson. Well, yeah. I'm just say that. This is why Brooke is the opposite of him. Yeah. Let's let's let me fun? lead this conversation. The chill type. So Russ, why don't you tell us about how you uh, how you met this person that you went out with? What's her name, by the way? Her name is Whitney. Okay. Whitney. And how'd you meet her? Well, we met at this place. I probably shouldn't say the name, but it's one of those drinking and darts places a bar uh, yeah, yeah well <laughs> i know that's what i was thinking I too reveal, but. Yeah. <laughs> i mean it's it's one of those newer places that electronically keeps score of the darts as you go oh. like if you know that place pop golf yeah yeah pop great. it's like that but for darts okay. oh. I've heard of these. That's cool. so again it's just taking like old bar games and <laughs> yeah. charging better charging people more for them alexis but yeah met whitney there I was there with coworkers, and uh, oh. she was part of the group next to us. You just met her in the wild? Like, yes. that's crazy. In the wild. How, how did you approach her? Like, how did you guys strike up a conversation? Uh, super, totally naturally. Like, there's these tables between our groups, and we were sharing them to set drinks on. Oh. And she set hers down, and I was just, like, said to her, how's it going? You know, that's oh. it. Good pickup oh. line. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she just leaned in and said, I'm just going really good. And she even whispered to me, she said, because I'm cheating. Oh. Ah. oh, oh, Wait, what? Wait, darts. How, do you, how do you cheat in an electronic game? You're talking about darts, not about like relationships, right? Like, she's not cheating. That <laughs> right. about darts. Okay. Okay. About darts. That's yeah. really funny. Mm -hmm. That's were, awesome. Were you able to get a date out of that meeting, or is this your one hangout? Yeah, I asked her I, as it was coming to a close. I was like, hey, you know, do you want to, can I get your phone number? You want to hang out sometime? And she said, yes. Cool. Nice. nice. That's awesome. So, you spun that into a date a few days later. Is that what happened? Yeah, the next week. Okay. okay. What'd you guys do? I didn't have a plan. I just said, I'll come pick you up if you're comfortable with that, and we can just drive into the city and figure out something to do. Or there's a lot of truck stops outside of the city, which also <laughs> make great <laughs> date spots. Just... Jeff can guide you to those. But, you know, <laughs> city is one way to do it. <laughs> okay, okay, where'd you go? Well, so we drove in, and I wasn't hungry, and then I asked her if she wanted to get something to eat, and she said she wasn't hungry either. Oh. Never trust that. <laughs> yeah. You didn't. You should have still bought her food, bro. I've learned uh. from my, that mistake. <laughs> so what did you guys, did you go get a drink somewhere? Or? I was like, yeah, let's go get a drink, and she's really not actually a big drinker, and it was a weeknight, and I was like, all right, so no drinking, no food. I don't want to go sit in a movie theater, you know, so we just drove around, you know. Sorry, wait, you, you did what? We drove around. Uh, That's it? That was the day just for, driving? For how long? 
Um, oh, about an hour, less than an hour and a half. Bro, is this oh. like when was I was it in like, high school? No, it was on like a pretty road or is this like stoplight traffic <laughs> driving? Does that make a difference to you, Alexis? Yeah, slightly. I mean, it was night and oh, yeah. there were stoplights. It was not some scenic drive in the country. No, it was driving around in the city. Okay, okay. so now do you re- regret not having a plan? Uh, yes. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> At least you admit it. Well, how did that night end? Like, was it just driving the whole time? Yes, that's about it. But, <laughs> but it wasn't as awkward as it sounds. Like, that's really? the thing. We were talking about our families, talking about our lives, our work. And, you know, she was laughing. I was laughing. So it wasn't, like, as painful as it sounds. Well, but I, be- also, I also wonder if it wasn't painful for you because you had something else to do, like drive. Yeah. She's just Aww. sitting there. She could suggest something at that point. Yeah. Like you could. So maybe we ended on a high note when they finished the evening. How did you guys leave it? Um, I dropped her off, and we said we would do it again. Do do oh. that again? Uh, no, I said I, I joked, and I said you know next time we'll have a destination, and she was into it. You know, I said let's get dinner, <laughs> let's, let's be hungry, let's, maybe a weekend. And since then, how many times have you driven by her house quietly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he likes that. He thinks that's funny. Okay. Okay. I'm just kidding. He likes how, to drive. How long has it been? Um, since since that night, it's been oh, just over a week. Okay. All and right. you've heard nothing hmm. or little bits? I, well, I, I only texted her twice. She responded to the first text and not to the second one. I'm not going to keep bugging her. You know? Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. but you can tell. We're gonna. You're gonna let us bug her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna come back and we're gonna try and play it cool and suave, but we're gonna take a page out of Brooks' mm. dating life and have we a little are. bit of a plan. Okay. Oh, and ask her smart. questions. Just smart. a small plan. Yeah, I mean, just a teeny plan. Like... We won't yell at her and demand that she put it in the calendar. <laughs> But it's we'll, more effective. We'll <laughs> gently approach her and try and get you a second date update yes. right after this, okay? Awesome. All right, man, hold on. You know what? I'm proud of our listener, Russell, because yeah? he listens to his dates and gives them exactly what they want. Mm. Oh. Whitney said she wasn't hungry, no food. <laughs> she said she wasn't thirsty, no drinks. Okay. She said oh, she man. didn't really feel like doing anything. Yeah. Then her wish is his command. They're just going <laughs> to drive around the city and talk and talk yeah. until they bore themselves to tears. Your yep. wish is his command. Until she said, okay, I think it's time to drive me yeah. home. All right, I'll take you right home. Yeah. That's exactly what he did. <laughs> so why isn't our man getting a call back today? I just hope she doesn't complain that he didn't set anything up and plan out a date. Because if he does, I'm going to have to rush to his defense. Are you? Oh. Brooke, if that happens, yeah. would that turn you on too much? Because <laughs> I could dial back my natural heroic qualities oh. if that's going to be a problem oh, for you. Oh, I see. Uh, I didn't know what you were inferring me to be turned on by. Yeah. By uh, my yes, heroism ex- that oozes out of my pores. I see. I like how you he know? has to explain. I feel safe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Russell, do you yeah. feel safe? I feel safe. Okay. All right. Yeah, Russell. I mean, I think we know what we're going to hear here, but I think it's going to be easy to get you another chance. What are we going to hear here? That she was bored. Oh. That it was a boring oh, date. Why do you always no. bring them down right before well, we I do the call? Bringing up Jones. <laughs> why do you always do that? I think what she's going to. I think it's going to be a scheduling conflict. Okay. Oh. And she wasn't bored at all. Or she's married and oh. you were just a side piece. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm the one bringing the mood somewhere down. Somewhere in I between see. there. There's we'll no, find it. Okay, let's yeah. hope there's somewhere in between there. Okay. <laughs> the married part is actually kind of good news. It's no, not your it's fault not. then, yeah, no. Russ. That's true. You know? Well, wait, because they didn't kiss. Well, I don't know. Did you guys kiss? No, we didn't. I think okay, was, that's good then. Because she didn't ask for a kiss. <laughs> if she had asked for one, though, he would have planted one on her. It'd still you know be cheating. Yeah, yeah, that's still cheating. Uh-huh. Like, my this husband can't go so drive for an hour with a random woman in a car. That <laughs> would... Uh, Michael, if you're listening, turn the car around. Oh, yeah. right. okay. <laughs> now we got to get back to business here. We're going to call Whitney. Let's dial her number and see if she picks up. Here we go. Hello. Hi, we're looking to speak to Whitney. Speaking. Okay. Hello. Hey, Whitney. Hi, who's this? We like the sound of your voice. We're a radio show. She's got tentative A what? (laughs) We're a a morning radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, Not all the time, but right now we are. Okay. We're wacky. We we do try and do some uh, fun stuff. Like, uh, Alexis, tell them about it. Um, we call people. 
Good, this. good work. <laughs> so why are you calling me? Good question there. Because we do, this segment is called a second date update. And that's where we try and help listeners get another date after they went out with someone one time and want to see them again. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So uh, um, one of our listeners has asked us to reach out to you specifically. His name is Russell. Oh. You remember Russell? You guys like drove yes. around the city for a while. He asked you out after you guys met at that dart bar. Yeah, we did. I was out with my sister, my best friend, her husband, and you know. Okay. Well, that's great. But we okay. want to talk about Russell a little yeah. bit. Because he's yeah, but we do know your sister's probably great. She's awesome. Yeah. Yes. Oh, your whole family, I'm sure. But uh, <laughs> what did you think of Russell on your guys' date? He was okay. Okay. He's mm. okay looking. Oh. Ow. Okay. Ouch. Uh, just call him ugly. It's better than okay. Okay. okay wait, hold on, though. Like, he, he pulls up to your house. I mean, you'd already met him in person and agreed to the date. It's not like you didn't know what he looked like. Yeah, but... I didn't know fully about him, but huh. after driving around for an hour, I really learned a lot. Okay. And sometimes that's positive. Sometimes yeah. that can be negative. Okay. okay. And it can change the way you're attracted to someone. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Give it the it can. So what did you learn that changed your mind about him? He lives with his parents. Oh, well, that Whoa. was direct. Okay. Really? Um, he's not stable. He's codependent on his parents. Well, wait, 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 though. Well, hold on. I think it's pretty common. I mean, yeah. I mean, we've definitely heard other listeners come on the show that have said that they lived with their parents and they're saving up a lot of money so they could buy like a nice house. Yeah. Sure. Or sometimes you're in between jobs. Like, Absolutely. If, or in between roommates. I mean, yeah. there's so many different reasons why you would find yourself back in that position. We thought it may have been something that he like did wrong on the date, but he didn't do anything wrong, it sounds no. like. No, 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 he didn't do anything wrong, but he needs to have his own place. He needs to be able to provide. Okay, I mean, I know we've heard that as a deal breaker and a hang-up uh, for certain people, but, like, I mean, I can understand why you wouldn't want to bring that up to him during the date. You really think that's something where you would not even consider seeing him anymore because he lives with his parents? It's a deal breaker. How come? Uh, like, why is it for you? Because he needs to have his own money. He needs to have his stuff together just a little bit more. Okay. All right. So, the so connection you're, isn't necessary. you're like an independent I, woman who's out on your own, making your own life, and you want somebody that matches that yeah. energy. Yeah. I do wonder what Russell would have to say about that because mm. uh, I need to let you know, Whitney, he is on the other line listening. <laughs> he is? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure it's on his oh, parents. that's another thing we do. <laughs> Yeah, right. That, oh, yeah. that's good, Alexis. Thank you, Alexis, yeah, you for your second contribution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Russell is there, I, I think. Yes, I am on the line. And I'm just, it blows me away to hear you say that. Because one of the things I learned about Whitney is that she also lives with her parents. Wait, what? what? Oh, my God. Yes, I do live with yes. my parents. You do? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh. <laughs> What? What? Hold up! You what need do you to be. Mean, uh, what do you mean you live with your parents, Whitney? I mean, I live with my mom and my dad. Uh huh. One of us needs to have our own place. <laughs> I honestly kind of get her on that. It'd be really hard to date if you both lived with your parents. <laughs> no, exactly. you can't judge somebody else for it. It's hypocritical. I can, and I do. Okay. Oh. Oh. So. What we're learning here is the reason that you're not going out with Russell is because he lives with his family, uh, even though you also live with your family. That's a deal breaker for you. Exactly. Why? Okay. <laughs> How are we going to hang out? How are we going to hang out? You know, where okay. am I going to cook dinner for him at? It's kind of sexy if you think about it. If you're I like, mean, so do you want to go back to your mom's house or my mom's house tonight? I, I could see how that would really set in for you after you spend just an hour in his car together. Exactly. Yeah. You're going to spend a lot car? more hours in cars together. Yeah. <laughs> I would have gone back with him to his house, but we didn't have anywhere to go. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Russell, you're staying it awfully quiet hard. during this. Do you have yeah. anything to say to her? I think this is completely ridiculous. Like, we should be closer to one another because we have the same situation. We're trying to get mm. out of it. Yeah. Things are crazy now, and I am saving towards a goal. Okay. And it's like, okay. I just don't know why you'd put that on me completely. It's just 
seems really like a double standard. Yeah. I put it on you because you're the man and you need to get this done. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this isn't 1950. I mean, my. Yeah, I'm with him on that. Well, we're kind <laughs> okay, of heading back here's, in that direction okay, if we, in a lot yeah, of the, the legal ways. So, <laughs> If we get out of that conversation, I mean, maybe, Russell, you just have a better, like, you have a plan of how you guys would hang out and maybe that would change your mind. That's a good idea, you Brooke. Know? We can move forward from this. Yeah, like, how would you guys hang out if you both live at your parents' house? That's um, a really good question. <laughs> that is a good question. I mean, uh, <laughs> okay. as the man, how would you step up and provide a place to hang out for her? I mean, we could go on dates, get to know one another, and then go go to the coast. You know, the coast. <laughs> you know, my parents travel a lot. There's a lot of times where they're not going to be home. All oh, right, now okay. we're getting to a real solution. High school 2.0. Yeah, yeah, get the yeah, house right. to yourself one time, or if they are home, tie a bandana around the doorknob and tell mom and dad to go watch a movie. Oh, oh no, okay. what? That's, not that's a thing. That's, that's probably code. a thing in Jeffrey's house. Is yeah. the sad part. <laughs> We've got a lot of colorful bandanas yeah, that mean a whole lot. Of I feel like things. his mom uses it more than he does. Though. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, I'm not going in that room. No, it's happening in there. It seems like you guys have this thing in common. People die to find things that they have in common with people in the Maybe dating not world. This thing, not and this honestly, is the one thing. if you yeah. can leave an hour hanging out in the car and still think that this is a fun person you want to be with, you may be missing out. You don't want to throw that away. That's why we'd love to offer to send you guys out on another date to somewhere outside of both of your parents' homes, and we would pay for it if you're up for giving them another chance, Whitney. Nothing has changed since the start of this conversation. Mm. If he gets out of his parents' house, maybe we can talk then. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Russell. It looks like we're not going to be able to get you a second yeah. date here. Uh, parents ruined it again, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Fine with me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you have any cute friends that have their own place, let oh, me know. Oh, come on. Are you asking oh. Russell that? <laughs> yeah. Jose's got his own place. I mean, yeah. oh. no one wants to date me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>